Hi everyone, it's Jen Smith again. Um, today I am going to show you how to ensure that you are sharing documents and files that you are putting into your um, Google Drive. So the very first thing is you want to make sure that you are in the correct Google account. As you'll see here I'm in my FAPA account. Simply go to your drive. And you may have already moved something there, or you may want to move something there. So you can either upload a folder or a file, which will show up here in your drive. In this case, I have some already in here, so I'm going to use this. Now, um, the easiest way to do this is once you've uploaded a file or a, a form. So if you have a file and you want to do just one, you'll notice this little pure people here. That shows that it's shared. This is how you can check to make sure that you have actually shared it. In this uh, folder here, sample, even though I have a shared file, the folder, you see there's no person. There's a little person in my file folder here. That means it's been, it's been shared. And um, so I'm going to use this little sample file as my example. And you just left click on it. You want to highlight it. You can either then right click to the drop down and click share. Or you can go up to the little icon up here the little person with the plus and it'll say share and the name of the file or folder you're going to share so once you click that a box is going to open that allows you to who you want to share with now here's what i recommend the reason we created groups was to make this so simple so you guys could not forget anybody in this case i want to share this with everybody on the fapa board so i'm going to click that it's going to add them and all i'm going to do is click send now, I'm, that will include everybody who's on the FAPA board of directors. So once you click that, that an invitation has gone out to everybody in their emails. And uh, you'll see it says sending because it's sending an invitation to those members to accept so that they know that they have a shared file. And then that will show up in there shared with me files. You'll notice I have some from Patty and Ginger and Jane. Um, and you should as well. Uh, now if I click back into my drive and I just refresh it, you'll see the little person is now in my sample file folder, which means that has now been shared with the board. Now I am going to delete this and I apologize to everybody while we've been making the, the, the video if you have gotten several invitations and I'm going to show you just to delete those. So let's say that you've added everybody and you're like, oh, no, I didn't want to send it to the board. I wanted to send it to the conference committee, which we do have a group for. You would just go back down here to share. And when it comes up, it'll show shared with one group. Click on that and you'll see here who it's shared with. Now, when you have shared it to somebody, you can give them time and amount of time that they're allowed to see it. You can change what they can do. They can view only. They can edit. They can add to it, or you can click the X and totally remove it. Now it's not shared with anybody, and I will click Save My Changes. And now that I have done that, I'm done. And again, if I refresh my files, you'll notice a sample is no longer shared with anybody. So if you've put anything in your drive and you've sent out to everybody that is now in the drive and available, make sure that you see this little person here, because if you don't, then you have not actually shared the document. Again, if you're sharing with the entire group, all you need to do is type the group in. You don't need to do the individual emails. That'll ensure you haven't missed anybody. If anybody has any questions, please don't hesitate to email me. And again, if you have gotten, I'm going to take you guys back into my box because you'll see here in my inbox that I've gotten a sample invitation to collaborate with the sample folder, I'm actually going to delete those. And you can also delete yours out of your email. So um, those were just uh, for the purpose of this video. So I want to thank you all for watching. Again, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email me at jennifer.smith at myfapa.org. Have a great day, guys.